Okay, good day everyone. Welcome to our strategic cost management course. And our reference book for this course is the, is the Strategic Cost Management by Elenita Cabrera, 2019-2020 edition. So for this video recording, we will be discussing chapter 1 of the book. That is overview of the cost management and strategy. So I have here the outline of the content of the video recording or the slides, uh, the expected learning outcomes. I'll give some introduction of what is cost and other terms related to cost management, the users and uses of cost management information, we will also be discussing management accountant's role in strategic cost management and as well as uh, the participation in strategic decision and the relationship between cost accounting and cost management. So these are the expected learning outcomes uh, upon completing the video recording or learning the video recording. Explain what is a strategy. Relate the strategic cost management to strategic management. Be able to describe the nature of cost management information and how they are developed. Be able to explain the, the objective, the scope and benefits derived from proper cost management. Enumerate and describe the various users of cost management information. Explain how cost management information is used in the following, in strategic management, in planning and decision making, in management and operational control, and in reportorial and compliance re uh, to legal requirements in different agencies. Be able to understand cost management accountant's role in strategic cost management and in the development and implementation of the strategic decisions. So let us now go to the introduction of <coughs> cost management. So let us first recall our, our understanding of what is cost. Based on our previous uh, course in cost accounting, we have learned that cost is either uh, product cost or period cost and that is the cost of producing goods and services such as raw materials, labor, and overhead are called product cost. While other costs incurred in the operation such as utilities expense and other expenses are called period cost. But in strategic cost management, cost covers a comprehensive definition. It includes other items that uh, we were unable to cover in the cost accounting course. So the definition says an amount that has to be paid or given up in order to get something. So anything that you give up to get something is the cost of that something. And that amount that you give up is the equivalent monetary value of an effort, material, resources, time and utilities consumed, even risk incurred and opportunities forgot are considered cost. So if you have an alternative or options between two things and you choose as one over the other, the cost of the other alternative that you forgot or did not choose becomes a cost of that chosen alternative and that is an opportunity forgot. It also says here that all expenses are cost but not all costs are expenses such as those incurred in the acquisition of income generating assets. So for example, the salary expense, the utilities expense, the 
uh, transportation expense and other expenses are all cost. All expenses are all cost. However, cost of buildings, cost of machineries are all cost but not an expense. So therefore, all expenses are cost but not all costs are expense. Okay, let us first uh, understand what is a cost management information. These are informations that the manager needs to effectively manage the firm, profit-oriented or uh, non-profit organizations, and this includes both financial information about costs and revenues, as well as relevant non-financial information about productivity, quality, and other key success factors. So, as you can see, uh, cost management information is not limited to financial information, just what we have learned in cost accounting. In, co in, in strategic cost management, cost management information also covers relevant non-financial information, and that is, say, productivity rate, quality of goods, and other uh, key success factors. So in cost management, you have to recognize that uh, we are not limited to financial information. We will also be using non-financial information to be able to manage our firm effectively. And uh, I want you to also recognize that cost management is not limited to for-profit organization. Even not-for-profit or government institution needs cost management or strategic cost management. And they also uh, develop or uh, generates cost management information, both financial and non-financial information. So, for non-for-profit or government institution, normally they prim their primary consideration or cons uh, purpose is to provide services to their customers without due regards of the profit to be earned. So, in that case, uh, the purpose of cost management information is for them to determine whether the services provided are effective or efficient for the customers. So they still need cost management accounting or cost management information in determining whether they were able to provide their services effectively. So, uh, learning that cost management information are both financial and non-financial information. Whenever you use this information or cost management information, you are actually practicing cost management. So, cost management is the practice of uh, developing and using cost management information. The primary purpose or uh, the goal of cost management is to add value to the firm by helping them to be more competitive. We understand that for for-profit organization, the primary purpose is to earn a profit. And for us to earn a profit, we must have a positive bottom line or bottom figure. So whenever we uh, incurred expenses because of uh, selling our goods and services, our cost should be lower than the selling price or our, or our total sales. And for us to be able to do that, we must be able to control our cost to as much as, as, the, as the minimum. For us to be able to limit uh, the incurrence of that cost for us to be able to get a positive figure in the bottom line and that 
changes in profit. But in cost management, we will not be focusing on the uh, financial figure only. Again, we have learned that cost management information includes non-financial information and therefore for us to be able to generate more income we should also uh, consider other non-financial factors or key success factors such as quality so that uh, we will be able to create more value to our customer and it, and that will translate into a profit so the more we put quality on our goods and services, the more the customer will buy on us and therefore it will create more profit for us. And that would happen only if we were able to generate or develop useful, relevant cost management information and be able to manage it or control it through cost management. So, um, let us now discuss what is strategic management in relation to strategic cost management. So, strategic management is a process of formulating, implementing, and evaluating cross-functional decisions that enable the organization to define and achieve its mission and ultimately to create value. Um, I was able to, to somehow explain to you what is value for our customers. The, the reason why uh, customers buy our product or goods or services is because of the quality that we were able to put into our goods or services. And for us to be able to do that, uh, we must be able to uh, harmonize all the functions of the organizations for us for us to be to be able to develop a quality goods or services and therefore we are not limited to uh, managing our production only we must involve other functions of the organization such as the marketing department the finance department the accounting department so whenever there are problems on quality goods or I mean on the quality of our goods or services it is not a problem of the production alone or the marketing alone or the finance alone but a problem of the whole and that is the strategic thinking that uh, the whole organization is actually involved in the development of a quality goods and services and that is how strategic management is functioning this is a cross-functional decision making uh, in order for us to create value not just for ad our customers but to all our stakeholders such as our employees and our owners so uh, ultimately, the strategic management purpose is to develop a sustainable competitive positions. So we will discuss further the what is what are competitive positions. So, the strategic management uh, actually aims to develop a sustainable competitive position, and that is either uh, cost differentiation or cost leadership, product differentiation or cost leadership. So, uh, what is now a strategic cost management? This involves the development of cost management information to facilitate the principal management function, which is strategic management. So actually, uh, this is just a, 
a broader uh, function of cost management. That is uh, the involvement in the strategic management of cost management whenever we use our cost management information uh, to be able to add value to our customers. So the use of cost management information to uh, supplement or augment the development of a competitive strategy is strategic cost management. So what is a strategy? Uh, like we have uh, learned that any company or all company must be able to create or be able to establish a competitive strategy or position and for them to do that they have to set their own strategy. So strategies are policies, procedures, and approaches to business that produces long-term success. The means to achieve its vision, mission, and objectives are called strategy. So say, for example, you envision yourself to become a CPA someday, and that is your vision. And your mission is for you to become a CPA, you must be able to finish BS Accountancy. So that is your mission, to be able to graduate BS Accountancy degree. And for you to do that, uh, your objective is for you to be able to uh, pass all the courses of uh, the BS Accountancy program. So your strategy is uh, your approaches, your procedures on how to be able to pass all the courses. And that is for you to achieve your obje objective, your mission, and your vision. So let us have now a recap of what we have learned so far. Uh, we should be able to explain what is a strategy. Again, a strategy is the means for you to be able to reach your uh, vision, your mission, and your objective. If we will relate it to the company, these are the approaches, the means for them to be able to achieve their goals or competitive positions. Be able to relate strategic cost management to strategic management. Again, strategic management is a cross-functional uh, decision whenever we deal with a problem. And uh, strategic cost management is part of that function of dealing with the problem able to describe the nature of cost management information and how they are developed. We have learned that cost management informations are either financial and non-financial information. This could include uh, qualities, productivities, and other key success factors. How they are developed through their uh, experience, through their actual uh, productions, and as uh, the company operate. Be able to explain the objective, scope, and benefits derived from proper cost management. As we have discussed, uh, the focus of cost management is not limited to uh, limiting or managing the financial figure, and that is the cost. We should also focus on non-financial aspect and that is productivity or quality and other key success factors. Let us now go to the users of cost management information. Uh, as we have earlier discussed, cost management informations are used also by not-for-profit organizations or government units. So for a profit organization, their primary function is to determine how are they going to earn a profit. And that is uh, 
and that will be achieved only through the use of cost management information and managing it appropriately. For not-for-profit organization and government units, the primary purpose is to provide uh, quality services. And for them to achieve that, they need cost management information in terms of quality and other key success factors or even productivity. So for the uses, uh, again, we have dealt uh, the use of cost management information in, in strategic management. For planning and decision making, uh, cost management informations are used uh, for purposes of uh, determining the level of uh, planned actions or planned productions. So in terms of planning, cost management information are used for budgeting, for forecasting, or for uh, determining a predetermined or, or establishing a predetermined rate for us to be able to generate a uh, pro forma uh, financial performance. For decision making, cost management information is actually used uh, for purposes of determining levels of say production say levels of purchases say levels of performance for management and operational control uh, we have to determine the uh, the fairness of uh, rewarding our operational managers or oper operational activities. So whenever there is an assessment or a performance check of operational managers by mid-level mid -level managers, or normally they call it uh, operational control, uh, they use as manage cost management information in determining the appropriate reward for that particular operation management or operation managers. For the for repertorial and compliance to legal requirements, we use cost management information in preparing our uh, external financial reports, and that is the preparation of statement of cost of goods sold or in or in inclusion to the financial statement or income statement so for us to be able to comply with the requirements of other uh, government institution or agencies we have to prepare or use cost management information let us now go to the management management accountant's role in strategic cost management. Uh, we have understand that cost management is the practice of using cost management information, uh, both financial and non-financial information. Now, this, manage, this, this person who do the management of uh, cost management information is what we call cost accountant or management accountant. Uh, normally, the management accountant uh, involves in the accumulations of cost management information and uh, keeping it for purposes of analysis and interpretation in the future or whenever there is a need for an interpretation. So, uh, the management accountant's role in strategic cost management includes keeping the scores for uh, non-financial information such as quality and productivity and of course accumulating this data and then after doing so uh, they're also involved in 
interpreting and reporting uh, uh, reporting of this information to the management whenever there is a need and therefore uh, one of the role of management accountant is to prepare different reports based on the needs of the management interpreting and reporting of information is actually uh, is a is an act of directing the management to uh, one of the inefficiencies of the operation that is problem directing or attention directing so problem solving and attention directing uh, this in this is actually the, the part of or the role of the management accountant where he, where he is expected to do some computational uh, solution to a specific problem or a specific decisions that need to be to have some computations such as choosing between alternatives uh, in investment uh, to determine whether uh, I mean which one is cost effective or not Okay, so management accountant or cost accountant are, are also involved in uh, helping the management uh, do their functions in planning, in controlling, and in decision making. In the planning functions of the management, management needs cost management information for them to be able to come up with a plan or uh, a budget and the appropriate person to provide these informations are the cost accountant or the management accountant because he has the uh, function to score keep or accumulate this data relative to the uh, cost of production or even the uh, sales and marketing or forecasting of sales and marketing the forecasting of uh, other expenses administrative expenses and other operating expenses so the management accountant is in the right position to be involved in the strategic uh, planning that will help managers come up with a specific plan for in terms of controlling function, the management needs the help of management accountant in providing the reports such as the performance report of specific, say, the, uh, department or uh, uh, branches of the company. So uh, management relies on this performance report generated or produced or developed by the management accountant for them to be able to control what are the resources to be added or pulled out in the uh, branches or in the uh, particular divisions or department. Uh, the management accountant is also involved in uh, decision making. So for management to be able to come up with a sound decision making, they need data, they need information, which the management accountant can provide. So uh, for them to be able to arrive in for an appropriate uh, decision, uh, they need to have uh, a solid information and based on the actual operation or actual output and the only person that could provide this information is the management accountant and so as you can see uh, the management accountant's function of scorekeeping and data accumulation uh, is actually a function of cost accounting so whenever uh, the accountant records the cost of production uh, of producing a particular good or services, 
he is actually accumulating this data, keeping this data for other purposes, and that is not uh, only limited to determining the cost of production. And that, uh, that can be also be used for forecasting, for budgeting, for performance report, and for other purposes. So therefore, all cost accountants or cost accounting information uh, is used in cost management. And that is what is the relation of cost accounting and cost management. The, in, the output of cost accounting is used in cost management. And so uh, whenever these cost management informations are used uh, for purpose of determining our competitive positions in the market, uh, cost management accountants are now being involved in a strategic decision whether uh, we will be using cost differentiation, uh, cost leadership, or product differentiation. So that is the part or the role of management accountant in strategic management in determining whether we will be using cost leadership or product differentiation. We need cost management information produced or developed by the management accountant. Okay, let us now have a recap of what we have discussed in this part. Uh, we have to enumerate and describe the various users of cost management information and we only have three users that is uh, for profit organization, not for profit, and the government institution. Explain how cost management information is used in strategic management. Uh, since strategic management is a cross functional approach in dealing with the problems of the company, part of the function uh, is the cost, uh, uh, cost management or strategic cost management. To augment or help the decision makers arrive in a solution for a problem. For planning and decision making, cost management information is used for purposes of budgeting or forecasting. And for the decision making, for uh, purposes of having a, uh, a grounded uh, basis for making choices. For management operation control, management informations are used for determining the performance of a particular uh, area or division or branches of the operation so that uh, they will uh, determine the actual performance or actual output of that particular division or, or uh, department. For reportorial and compliance to legal requirements of government agencies, uh, we use cost management information for preparing financial reports that is required from uh, all the company regulated by different government agencies. Uh, the cost management accountant's role in strategic cost management is actually uh, embedded in the planning and controlling and decision making. Like we have discussed for planning, they provide cost management information for budgeting and forecasting. For controlling, for purposes of determining the actual performance, they provide performance report. For decision making, uh, they provide a uh, grounded basis for uh, determining the uh, appropriate choices. And then describe the role of the cost management accountant in the development or implementation of a strategic decision for the business firm. So the primary purpose is to, to uh, create value to our customer. And for us to be able to create value, we have to have a good or quality goods or services. And for us to do that, we must provide both financial and non-financial information to our managers for them to be able to create quality goods and services. Okay. Uh, 
think we have achieved our learning outcomes for today. Uh, we have a prepared quiz for you. Uh, you just have to access it below this slide. Thank you very much and see you again on my next video report.